All right, and we're back. We're playing Fallout 3, wandering yep. through the wasteland. Kyle, did you skip ahead and do a whole bunch of stuff in the game, or is it just that this game looks exactly the same everywhere? It <laughs> looks exactly the same everywhere. You know what? I'm not going to tell you. All right. Even though fine. you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not going to tell here the, whole the time. audience. Yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah, well, actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. This game doesn't change much. I don't know where I'm going, but that doesn't really make a difference, nope, does it? No, it really doesn't. You know what, Kyle? Um, this... Like, literally, you could be on the other side of the map, and I wouldn't know. That, that's how... Oh, shit, lasers. Oh, go fuck up those robots, man. Dude, have you ever seen how the... How did they not hit me? Because uh... they suck. But, and you're also on very easy, remember that, Kyle? I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm, I'm playing the hard mode. Oh, yeah, sure, man. All right, I'll let you go with it. But uh, have you ever seen the Million Dollar Man? Or the, no, 40 Million Dollar Man or whatever? There's like an episode, he's like a robot, right? He's like a cyborg guy. Yeah. He's like, and there's like an episode where he faces the $50 million man. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and it's like, some comedians were talking about it one time, I think. I don't know where they were talking about it, but dude, it was fucking hilarious. And like, I watched the clip. So, what he fights the guy, and it's like, the, the $40 million man wears a red tracksuit. He fights a guy in a blue tracksuit, and he's like Whoa. worth 10, million, 10, 10 more millions. And it's like, oh shit, what's he going to do? That's how you know he's bad, though. He's and got 10 more. Guess how, guess how the $40 million man handles it. He doesn't outsmart him. He doesn't outdo anything. He just roundhouse kicks the, <laughs> no, his face off, and circuits and shit are there. And he's like, oh god. And that's how he wins. He that just... is... That is such an 80s, like, way to handle it. It's like, it's like, there's no, like, good writing he's behind faster, it. faster, stronger in every way. And just like, but I can round up. But he face. montaged him to death or something. You know, <laughs> he, he did something that had, makes no sense, but in the 80s was like, of course that fucking makes sense, right? Yeah. That's why, I think the 80s was a happier time. Because it was like, there was so much hope. Because you could watch like The Breakfast Club, and it was like it was like yeah, even the people who deserve to be in the breakfast deserve to be in detention. We're rooting for you because you're a likable person, and you have like you you have the you know the guy who's putting them in the fucking library is more of an asshole, even though they deserve every reason to be in the library. Do you ever seen Breakfast Club? Yeah, guy? yeah, I know. Oh, right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like you, it seems like you didn't you didn't like understand the like anything about it, but yeah, like it, it's weird to me. The '80s is great. You can montage things. You could. Like, I watched the episode of South Park today, where they go to the ski uh, resort. Yeah, yeah, and that's like, making fun of, um, oh god, what's the movie? Hot Stuff? Hot Stuff? Was that, was that the movie? Was I don't know, of? man. It's also making, it's also like, it's making fun of those types of movies that, that Hot Tub Time Machine also made fun of. Yeah. Like, which by the way, Hot Tub Time Machine was surprisingly better than I expected it to be. Yeah, no, I, Considering that, like, Hot Tub gave, Time Machine, some... it's a turret, it's a turret. Oh. Yeah. Just get out of there. fucking right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Luckily, Kyle, you have you you upgraded your character a lot to where even very hard mode. Yeah, Bru Free is very powerful. Yeah, people don't realize that Bru Free is not only a reference to Bruce Lee. He is Bruce Lee. He actually has all wait of, what? Yeah, he is. No, Bruce. no, no. Bru Free is his own man. No, man. He can't. How can he be his own man and be this good? Like there can only be one. Yeah, that's that's why he's his own man. There can only be one. <laughs> he's like Highlander. He is Bruce Lee. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's how Bruce Lee died, man. That's how he died. <laughs> he was absorbed. <laughs> you ever see that movie, The One, with Jet Li? Yeah, many times. Yeah, many times. Oh, do you have movies? That's, that movie's fucking great. Oh, dude, uh, okay. Hey, I, I saw a movie recently that was really, really bad, and I think it's, like, enjoyably bad. It's called X vs. Silver. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> no. Oh, dude, it's horrible. It's really bad. It has uh, fucking Lucy Liu in it, and she's, like, facing off against another agent. It's, like, back in those times in the early 2000s where, like, it was always, like, one agent versus another agent, you know? Yeah. Like, that style. It was just, like... It was so bad. The, the action scenes don't make sense for one. There's like a motorcycle chase that lasts like like 15 minutes, and you're just like, all right, dude, this is starting. This is like an actual motorcycle chase now. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the cops are chasing behind them at like 40. It's just like boring after a point, and nothing interesting happens the entire movie. That's the thing. That's the problem with a lot of movies. Is chases get boring. A chase yeah. should never be. If you're being chased. You're never at one point going to be like, oh, it's over, I guess. Like, when's this going to be done? Yeah, exactly. That's why fucking, uh, what's that movie? The, the you know, the Grindhouse movie? What's the one? Bull the, uh, no, no. Uh, Bull Death Proof. Death Proof. That movie had a great chase scene because it was, it was like the perfect length and the perfect, like, there were, amount there were of shit going on. There were stakes. There was yeah. never a point where Including real like, stakes. That chick was actually on the car. Yeah, that especially... Yeah, oh yeah, she's a... Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. She's a real stunt person. Yeah, a hot-ass stunt... Uma, Dude. Uma Thurman's stunt double. Dude, stunt women have got to be one of the hottest things. Like, if, if I met a stunt woman, that's got to be, like, one of the hottest things. If she looks like, you know, she's, like, an attractive... You are not nearly man enough 
to to attract a stunt woman. Unless Don't. she's just like she's into like shaming. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe. Yeah, I have to be do uh that'd be the worst. Would, what would you do to be with that kind of chick? Cuz like imagine she's super hot and she's a stunt woman. What would you do? Would you put on a diaper, Kyle, and like play that role? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I would. No, like, you don't have to do it in public, you know? It would just be, like, in the bedroom. Like, she'd be like, all right, can you put on this diaper? I'd be like... I, no, but that's not shameful enough. Wait, wait. I want to also have to do it in public. <laughs> do Oh, she carries you around with a leash and yeah, shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the something worst. I always thought that would be funny, is, uh... For me to do that with you? Yeah. <laughs> just uh, walk no, you just, around? No, just, like, walk around with, uh, like, have... Be on, like, a leash. Yeah. And then, uh, like... No! Ah, oh, fuck. Dude, don't worry. You took, like, no damage. Yeah, I just... I'm gonna have to go back. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, just to be on, like, a leash and in the grocery store, and, uh, the person, like, that's carrying you around on the leash is, like... Like, occasionally, just like, mm, mm, and you're just, like... You're just, like, talking for people, and they, like, <laughs> yank on the chain. Oh, dude, that... And that yet, would be so fucking you hot. Have no. a, you have to have a <laughs> cock ring. Like, if you have... At all? Oh. An exposed cock ring? Dude, the, it, it looks like one of those, like, dog collars where it's got little spikes on it. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just like all oh, the ones that are really tight. It's just like squishing everything uh, forward. Yeah, that'd be that'd, uh, be, that'd be. How great. do they get those on? You ever wondered that? How do you get a cock ring on? What's the purpose of a cock ring? I don't know. That's, I, a, that's, that's one I never under. I never fully under, like the one that's just a ring. I, right, Kyle? Do you want to buy one and like see what it's about? What? It, no, Is this no. How you're gonna I don't. I don't because I might. Uh, what if I'm into it? Then I have to buy well, then cock rings. Then you're into it. I'm trying to save money, Good for man. You. I don't want to be. I want a fetish that's gonna cost me money. You know what I mean? I want those fetishes that are just like things I can afford. They're in my budget. Like, like what? A cock ring. <laughs> yeah, a cock ring. I, I don't know. It's 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 a sex product, so it's gonna be overpriced. What the fuck? I love that robot design. It has a brain in it. That is awesome. Okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna lure him into a room. Kite him in. Yeah. I first time I heard that term, I I seriously thought like that sounds like it's still today. Like I think it's a dumb term. I don't know. I just don't like it. Kiting? I just don't like the sound of it for some reason. And it, to me, it doesn't, like, fully make sense, though. Like, I understand what it means, but I don't understand why it means that. Wait, why am I even fighting him? I can just run away. Yeah, yeah. He exactly. hurt my hands. Yeah, you can't use your hands now, Kyle. That's the... the that's one thing about this game, though, is you have those those moments where, you, like, you get injured to a point where you can't really do anything. Like, you, I don't think you will hold a gun anymore, so it's like... I don't know yeah, what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I should have used all those stim packs. <laughs> Yep, uh, Kylie, you, all you need to do is one stim pack. Now you can't recover that, though. You need a stim pack to recover that, or sleep. I've got, I've got a plan. Wait, how What's do you that? see your radiation? How uh, do you know how much radiation you have? I don't know. Fucking, I have no clue, man. Fuck it, I use a rad I've, play, I've beaten this game multiple times, by the way, but I still have, like, I, it's been a long time, but I just don't have the, like, necess I don't have the Mental interest. capacity. Yeah, that, that's what I was really going for, you know, Kyle? A lot of times, I, uh, I like to talk about how dumb I am, you know? It's just a fun thing to do. I think it's funny to talk about how dumb you are. Stupid. Oh, man, dude, Kyle. I think on, on some level, you know, at some point when you hate someone a certain amount, you have to love them. You know how it's like, it's like you have to love your enemy? At a certain point, you know what I mean? You ever hear that? No, no, that sounds like something they tell stupid people to tell, like, so that, like, they don't think they're gonna fail in school, but they are gonna fail in school. You no, know dude. what I'm saying? I could tell it's you. It's just like, you could be anything, Brian. I'm, I'm lucky. I had parents who didn't say that. I had parents who were not, like, they said, they didn't, they, they didn't say I couldn't be, like, you know, that I was, like, they didn't limit me to a lot of stuff, but they also weren't, like, you're not gonna be an artist. They would limit you from, like, going outside without a helmet or, you know, from I mean, it was safety. It was alone. safety. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> no, but I'm talking about, like, my parents were never those parents who were, like, yeah, if you want to be an artist, you just need to work really hard. They're, like, I was, like, I was, like, nah, they knew right away that that was not gonna That's happen. That's not gonna fucking happen. Yeah. And I'm glad my parents told me that, because I would have spent a long time trying to be an artist, and I would have gotten nowhere. Like, was there something you wanted to be, but then you realized you weren't gonna, it wasn't gonna happen? Besides uh, a UFC fighter, because that's never gonna happen, Kyle. My parents wouldn't let me hang around the colored children. Did the game crash? I think the game crashed. What a great way to end the series, Yeah, Kyle. that seems like a great way in the middle of uh, this fucking shit game that I hate and is boring, and we're not going anywhere with. Yeah! Game crash! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, I'm I'm happy to be done with this one. Yeah, I really don't like this game. Me neither. I have a headache. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching our Fallout Three videos. Yeah, or not. We'll come back with another sure. series esque of this eventually. Think so? Yeah, Fallout Four's got to come out eventually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we're shills. We're shills. Yeah.